Uh, Liberty University was founded by someone back in the day, and now there's a bunch of people here. Evolution, probably. Evolution. Wow. <laughs> to Liberty University, the world's largest Christian university. My name is Dryden Joss, and today we're going to be asking Christian students here, if you practice other religions, will that get you into heaven? So again, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you so much for your financial support. Let's get into the video. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Gabe. Gabe, okay, awesome. My name is Dryden. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Today we're asking people at Liberty, uh, if you practice other religions, can that get you into heaven? If you practice other religions, by practicing, are you believing them? Yeah. Like if you, like if I'm a Muslim, if I'm Buddhist or or other Hindu, right? Does that get you into heaven? Uh, no. I would say the only thing that gets you to heaven is Christianity, and Christianity would put away all other beliefs and other religions. Okay. So I agree with you, but why is that? Uh, because there's only actually one thing that you can believe in to get you in heaven, is that is that is sanctification through Jesus Christ, through His grace. And so, in order to believe that, you must believe that alone and nothing else. Like Catholicism believes that, but also with deeds and doing good works, which therefore essentially means it's not only Jesus' death on the cross that saves you. So it's in believing that and alone, which if you believe in other things, and you're taking away what, what the death on the cross actually was. Yeah. So I'm a Christian. I agree yeah. with you. But right. I could easily be Muslim and say, well, my faith gets me to my version's paradise. Right. So why is my religion wrong if I was Muslim or Hindus uh, and Buddhists believe in reincarnation to get right. to a kind of paradise? Mm -hmm. So why are those wrong? Why Whereas, are those wrong and I'm right, yeah. essentially? Um, I mean, ultimately it comes down to just essentially what your faith is and what you believe. I mean, if you're going to, I can't just be talking and say I'm right and then they say, well, I think, I think I'm right, you know, well then the conversation's over there. It's, in order to have an actual conversation, I would just simply want to ask, okay, what they actually believe in, you know, yeah. and I would simply state what I believe in and try to have, essentially try to carry on a conversation in that sense, if that, yeah. makes, if that works. Yeah, I think that could potentially work, but what I would say is, um, so I've, I've had a friend who is Muslim and I said, hey, I'm sorry, but that's not going to get you to heaven from doing good works, because right. that's what Muslims believe, that they have to pray five times yeah. a day, fast, and that their good deeds will get them to heaven. Yeah. The Bible says that no one's good. You know, every man has fallen exactly. short of the glory of God. No one's good. Absolutely. Uh, it also says uh, that if you've uh, done everything right, Mm -hmm. Except for one part of the yeah, law. You miss one part right. of the law, it counts as guilt for the rest of the law. Right. So you could say that, but I think people want more definitive proof. And okay. something that could, could help us is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Right. You know, he said, I'm going to die and then I'm going to be risen again. And yeah. then there's over 500 witnesses to that. Yeah. So whereas with Muhammad and other religions is there's not as many witnesses. It, it's a work based religion, mm -hmm. which we know doesn't work because everyone's sinful. Right. Everyone's evil. Yeah. So that's kind of where, where I would go towards. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for your, cool. for your answer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a great day. You too. Hey guys, my cameraman wants to jump in and try this out. I want this video series to show people that this isn't the most difficult thing in the world. I'm not going to consider myself amazing at this. So I want other people to try it out and I want people at home watching this to know that they can do this as well. So let's give our cameraman a shot. Hi, uh, my name is Jack. What's your name? Dahlia. Dahlia, nice to meet you. Okay, so here's my question for you today. Um, so we, we see all sorts of other religions um, out in the world today, but my question for you is, is there one way to go to heaven or are there multiple ways to go to heaven? I believe that there's one way. If you believe in Jesus and confess your sins, then you can go to heaven. That's that's awesome. Uh, so if other people believe those other religions, does that make them wrong? I do believe that, yeah. Since Christianity is the only way, then I believe that all the other religions are wrong. 
Gotcha. That's I, I completely agree. So so when we see people who are Muslim, Hinduist, or just atheists, don't believe in a God, don't believe in anything like that, um, you know what what's your what's your mindset in terms of um, you know how we should reach them? How should we communicate with them? Should we let them know obviously that that they're that they're in the wrong? How do we go about letting them know that Christianity is the one way? Um, I think we should always strive to share the truth and love um, and we should first empathize with them and listen to what they have to say and then once we've made a relationship and made a connection with them then I think we've earned the right to speak into their lives and that's when you can present the gospel yeah. and also back it up with um, Bible verses and other contextual um, evidence approved Jesus is the only way to heaven. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Starting with the love and relationship that gives you basically that that into uh, the, the, the word, the scripture, the, the gospel. So just last little question, what does the gospel mean to you? What What is the gospel described? Like the description of the gospel? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the gospel is the word of God and it's the story of Jesus and how he came down from heaven to save humanity from their sins so that whoever believed in him could have eternal life and not spend eternity in hell. That's awesome. Thank you so much for talking with me, Dahlia. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, have a good day. <laughs> All right, a little little breakdown of that. that. I was really nervous. That was my complete first time doing this campus thing. I uh, kind of forgot the question at the beginning, but I rolled it. Um, just getting people talking, get people thinking, uh, helps me to um, just come up with um, what to say. And um, yeah, just getting in practice, doing this again. So we'll see. We'll see the next person. My name is Dryden. What's your name? Allie. Allie, nice to meet you. Today we're asking all the Christian college students here, can practicing other religions get you into heaven? No. Why not? Um, there's one way and one way only, and that's um, salvation through Jesus Christ. Okay, so I completely agree with you. I'm a Christian as well. I believe that. But I can easily say, I'm Muslim. I don't believe that. Why should I believe that? Why you should believe that? Um... <laughs> I guess theology and doctrine um, based upon their religion is not as strong as ours. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what their religion is based on? Like how they get to heaven? Um, I think it's through multiple, is it multiple gods? So they believe in the one true God, Allah, which is they claim the same God that we have, but they don't believe that Jesus was God. So they believe that to get to heaven or their version of paradise that they, they have to do good deeds, good works. Yeah. Not true. So, so, <laughs> can, <laughs> so you're saying good deeds can't get you to heaven? No, I mean, we're all supposed to represent Christ in the best way, but us doing good deeds is not going to get us there. It's only through a relationship with him. Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, we know in the Bible it says that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, people think that they're good people, but they're not really good people. Yeah. Um, it says that if you've uh, missed one of the laws, that accounts for all the laws. So if we've sinned in one area, it accounts for everything. Mm -hmm. So Jesus himself says that the only way to get to heaven in Matthew 5, he says, is perfection, to be as perfect as the Father is. And we know that we can't do that, which is why Christ uh, substituted himself for our punishment. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. So <laughs> all right, my name is Dryden. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, today we're asking people, if by practicing other religions, can you get to heaven? No. So why not? Um, because with Christianity, at least, um, it's monotheistic. So you only believe in one God. And if you practice other religions or there are other gods, then that doesn't line up with Christianity and then you won't enter heaven. Okay. So I agree with you. I'm a Christian. But why is Christianity true compared to, to Buddhism, Hinduism, you know, Mormonism, I mean, other religions like Islam? Why is Christianity true and not those religions? Um, I think so after examining the Bible um, and reading other texts too, like the Quran, um, mm -hmm. I haven't read a lot of. Um, I haven't really read many of the other religious text but um, with all these Christianity um, you know seeing how like Jesus and his life and how that lines up with um, I guess you know with all the eyewitness accounts you consider mm. all the people um, how it was written with all the, the authors and, and everything and um, I think if, if Jesus existed with the whole like uh, I think it was C.S. Lewis with like the liar lunatic lord yeah. situation um, 
So I think most people agree that Jesus did exist, even like, you know, atheists or um, obviously like Muslims do believe that Jesus existed, but was he the son of God? Yeah. I think that's like where you kind of have to like examine a little bit more. Because um, if he is the son of God, then you have to realize, okay, well, then much more Christianity is true than you might realize. And then you can't believe in Buddha or like all, any of the Hindu gods. Um, so I think it's kind of a difficult like not a, like a simple answer or you kind of have to examine like different areas of Christianity and how that lines up or doesn't line up with other religions. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, you said it's not super simple. Like we kind of have to have a lot of nuance and talk yeah. about it. Uh, but if I was to put it in simple terms, it's that other religions are work based. Right. But we all know that we're not perfect. We cannot achieve this perfection that God requires for heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, it says in Matthew 5 that you must be perfect like my father in heaven. And we, anyone who's uh, humble enough to admit will say, I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I should pay for what I've done. I've lied before, I've stolen before. So that's the difference between Christianity right. and other religions is it's not work-based. Christ came down and he said, I am God. He equated himself with God. That's why he was crucified. And he said, I'm gonna take your punishment for you so that if you believe in me, follow me, submit to me as Lord, you'll have eternal life. So I think that's the simplest way, but I, I really like yeah, your I answer. That. that was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much. Awesome, of course. Yeah, have a great day. You too. My name is Dryden. What's your name? Haley. Haley, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. So today I'm asking students, can other religions get you to heaven? Oh, that's a... Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, crap, guys. <laughs> I believe that other religions have, like, the same kind of, like, basis as Christianity, but because they, like, have... You know, there was, <laughs> this is a lot of pressure. But I believe that Christianity is the way to heaven, personally. Okay. Yeah. So why is Christianity the only way to heaven? God. <laughs> why did I answer this? I thought it was going to be a fun question. <laughs> um, I don't, that's just like, that's just what I believe. It's just like salvation through the Lord, and the Lord is the way to heaven, and that's like, that's the way. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I completely agree with you. I'm yeah. a Christian as well. What I would say is other religions are works-based for the most part. Yeah. And we all know that we are sinful. We cannot be perfect, which is what heaven requires is perfection. Yeah. So that's why Jesus came as a substitute for us yeah. because he was perfect and that's what requires. So he died for our sins and that's how we get to heaven. Yeah. So I think that's the simplest way that we could maybe say other religions aren't really true. Yeah, because they didn't have the sacrifice that we did. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, breakdown, breakdown. So a lot of Christians believe that Jesus is the only way to heaven but they don't necessarily know why it's it comes down to we are not perfect enough to get into heaven we've all lied before we've stolen before we've done something wrong we've we've lusted before we've cussed before cursed you know everything all these things are bad and it says James 2.10 says, For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become guilty of it all. So you might not be a murderer, but you've stolen something. You might, be, you might not be a rapist, but you've definitely hated someone before. All of these are considered sins, wrongdoing. And if you committed one of those, you've, guilty, you've become guilty for all of it. So we needed someone who was perfect, someone who can pay the price for us, which is why salvation is a free gift. We cannot earn it. We cannot lose it. It is something that has been given to us. And because of that, we love Jesus Christ. We want to follow him. Jesus himself says, if you love me, you'll obey my commandments. So it's not this guilty pressure leading us to obey God, but it's out of love for what he's already done for us. We love Christ because he first loved us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And that is the ultimate way of showing love. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of asking college students questions. Today we asked them, can other religions get you to heaven? Christians believe, no, you can't. It's not going to work out and you're going to, uh, there's going to be consequences for that. We'll talk about that in our future video on the gospel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I again want to thank our patrons. Thank you for supporting this channel financially. It means a lot. It's awesome. Thank you so much. And we'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.